Have you ever wondered how Kuwait, a small country in the Middle East became one of the wealthiest nations in the world? The roots of Kuwait's prosperity can be traced back to ancient times. This land was once a dwelling place for nomadic tribes, primarily the Arab nomads of the desert. The depth of Kuwait's ancient history may not be as well documented as some regions, but it's generally accepted that its territory has been inhabited since antiquity. Fast forward to the 18th century, Kuwait City was founded by the Utub tribe, led by the Al Saba family. The location was strategically chosen for its proximity to water and potential for trade. The city swiftly gained prominence as a significant trading hub. It was particularly known for its pearls, a major source of wealth at the time. This marked the beginning of Kuwait's journey towards becoming a significant trading hub. Fast forward to the 19th and 20th centuries, Kuwait's fate started to take a dramatic turn. In the 19th century, Kuwait was a bustling trading hub, with goods like pearls providing a significant source of wealth. But the landscape changed in the year 1814 when Kuwait signed a treaty with the British. This treaty recognized Kuwait's independence, setting the stage for a new era of autonomy. The 19th century also saw the signing of another significant treaty. In 1899, Kuwait became a British protectorate. This status provided Kuwait with a measure of security and stability, allowing it to further develop its economy and infrastructure. However, the most transformative event was yet to come. In 1938, oil was discovered in Kuwait. This marked a turning point in the nation's history. The discovery of oil brought about an economic transformation that is hard to overstate. Kuwait went from being a small trading hub to one of the world's leading oil producers in a matter of years. The oil boom led to a surge in investment and development, setting the stage for an era of unprecedented growth and prosperity. The mid-20th century brought another significant milestone for Kuwait. In 1961, Kuwait gained full independence from Britain. This event marked the end of the British protectorate status and the beginning of a new chapter in Kuwait's history. Independence allowed Kuwait to control its own destiny and further capitalize on its oil wealth. Yet the journey was not always smooth. The newfound wealth and independence also brought challenges and complexities. Kuwait had to navigate its way through geopolitical tensions, regional conflicts and global economic shifts. But through it all, the nation remained resilient, drawing on its rich history, strategic location, and immense oil wealth to continue its upward trajectory. The discovery of oil in 1938 was a game-changer that transformed Kuwait's economy dramatically. It marked the beginning of a new era for Kuwait, an era characterized by economic growth, prosperity, and increasing global influence. From a small trading hub, Kuwait had become an economic powerhouse, setting the stage for its future as a high-income developed nation. The 1990s brought a significant challenge to Kuwait, a challenge that tested the resilience of its economy. In 1990 the tiny nation was invaded and occupied by neighboring Iraq, setting the stage for a conflict that would become known as the Gulf War. This was a period of immense turmoil for Kuwait, with its infrastructure heavily damaged, and many of its oil wells set ablaze. Following the invasion, a US-led coalition launched Operation Desert Storm to liberate Kuwait. After seven months of occupation Kuwait was freed in February 1991. However the war had taken a significant toll on the nation's economy. The direct cost of the conflict was estimated at over $50 billion, and the damage to oil infrastructure resulted in a sharp decrease in oil production a resource that Kuwait heavily relied upon. Yet in the face of adversity, Kuwait showed remarkable resilience. Following the war, the nation embarked on an ambitious reconstruction effort. Billions were poured into rebuilding infrastructure, revitalizing the oil industry, and restoring public services. The private sector also played a crucial role, with local and international businesses investing in the country's restoration. By the mid-90s, Kuwait had largely recovered from the war's devastation. Its oil industry was back on its feet, producing at pre-war levels. The reconstruction effort had also spurred growth in other sectors, such as construction and finance, diversifying the economy and creating new job opportunities. Moreover, the experience of the Gulf War highlighted the importance of economic diversification for Kuwait. While oil remained a significant part of the economy, the government started investing more heavily in other sectors such as finance, real estate and tourism, in an effort to reduce its dependence on oil revenues. Despite the devastation, Kuwait's economy showed its resilience and managed to bounce back. The Gulf War proved to be a turning point for the nation, not only as a test of its economic resilience, 
but also as a catalyst for its ongoing efforts towards economic diversification. As we entered the 21st century, Kuwait began to look beyond oil. The nation, well aware of the finite nature of fossil fuels, recognized the need for economic diversification. In 2016, Kuwait launched its New Kuwait Plan, a bold initiative aimed at transforming the nation into a financial and trade hub, thereby reducing its dependence on oil revenues. The plan focused on various sectors including health, education, infrastructure, tourism, and the digital economy. Yet just as the wheels of transformation began to turn, the world was hit by an unprecedented crisis, the COVID-19 pandemic. Like many countries, Kuwait found itself grappling with economic challenges in 2020. Businesses were disrupted, and the nation witnessed a slight contraction in its GDP, a dip of half a percent. However, this setback did not deter Kuwait from its path towards economic diversification. Fast forward to the present day, 2024, and Kuwait's GDP is projected to grow by 4.5%. This growth is not just a bounce back from the pandemic-induced slump, but a testament to the nation's ongoing efforts to diversify its economy. It's also worth noting that despite a growing population, Kuwait has managed to maintain a relatively high GDP per capita, a testament to its economic resilience. The sectors that were once the focus of the new Kuwait plan are now the drivers of the nation's economy. The health sector is booming, the digital economy is thriving, and infrastructure projects are underway. Tourism is also on the rise, with Kuwait becoming an increasingly popular destination for travelers from around the world. While challenges persist, such as fluctuating oil prices and regional instability, Kuwait's efforts to diversify its economy are beginning to bear fruit. The nation is not only surviving but thriving, proving that with vision, planning and perseverance, economic transformation is indeed possible. So here's to the future of Kuwait a future that promises sustainable growth and prosperity for all its citizens. Over the centuries, Kuwait has undergone remarkable transformations. From its origins as a modest trading hub, its economy has evolved through various eras, each marked by different challenges and opportunities. The 18th century saw the founding of Kuwait City and the establishment of the Al Sabah leadership, setting the stage for growth. The discovery of oil in the 20th century propelled Kuwait onto the global stage, transforming its economy and society in profound ways. However, the country also faced significant challenges, such as the Gulf War and the economic impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yet, through it all, Kuwait has shown an impressive resilience, continually adapting and innovating. Today, Kuwait is focusing on diversifying its economy beyond oil through its new Kuwait plan, seeking to ensure sustainable growth and prosperity for its citizens. From a small desert emirate to a high-income modern state, Kuwait's economic history is a testament to its resilience and its relentless pursuit of growth and prosperity.